Forex traders, have you noticed that Forex pairs that were making you so much money two, three years ago are not making you money now? Guys, what I mean not making you money now is not just break even, like it is affecting your ability to, like you're hitting stop losses. Have you noticed that you're using the same pairs, using the same strategy, but it just isn't popping this time around? Now guys, this is absolutely natural and I'm here to explain to you guys why this is happening and also share with you guys the pairs that are popping right now. It's just like in every other aspect of life whereby you have those artists, right, that were doing very well two, three years ago. Like they took over the whole summer, right? And then right now, they're just not even, it's not even banging. These things absolutely happen, guys. And that's why I like to come on here every two years. Like I do this video every two years to show you guys what is happening right, like the most important pair. And guys, it's not just the best pairs to trade the easiest pairs to trade because at the end of the day we don't want to be stressing ourselves like oh, this pair is so complicated no 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 the best and easiest and the most profitable pairs to be trading right now is exactly what I want to be sharing with you guys. And apart from that, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best strategy to use. Guys, this strategy is so amazing that you can use it to trade anything out there. So regardless of the market changing conditions, this pair, that pair, there's this one strategy that cuts it all. Now guys, before I jump into the nitty gritties of this video, before I start to share all the amazing information that I have for you guys, you guys need to do yourself a favor and go ahead and smash that subscribe button right there. Why? Because think about it guys. If indeed you want to stand any chance at consistently extra, we all know everybody's buying prop counts, right? Everybody wants to drive a Lamborghini. If you want to stand any chance at doing that, you have to subscribe because I come on here and give you guys the most raw information possible. Like this is 13 years worth of trading experience and I'm coming to, I'm breaking everything down for you guys and I'm compressing it into this video. So. My YouTube channel is literally flitted with 13 years worth of experience. So do yourself a favor, smash this subscribe button and let's jump into the meat. The meat of the video, let's go. Sit down and obviously get yourself some water and popcorn, whatever thing it is you like to snack on. Let's, let's, let's talk logic, let's talk facts here. Let's reason together, me and you today. Let's understand ourselves. Now guys, you have to understand something about the Forex market, right? You see, liquidity flows from market to market it's just how it goes this year gbp usd might be popping next year jpy pairs might be popping next year us dollar pairs might, might be popping the truth is it is very natural and i want you guys to be able to adapt your mind to the fact that what worked several years ago might not be working this year and your ability to understand this and embrace this is what is going to separate you from the rest of the 95% of traders that are absolutely suffering and struggling. If you want to be that 5%, you need to embrace this concept and be like, okay, what that's is saying is true. Um, the market is ever changing. Now guys, you have to understand that I've gone ahead to make well over 50, 60 million US dollars in the Forex market. I've made a lot of money. I've been trading for 13 years. And one thing that has literally helped me stand out is my ability to evaluate the market conditions on a yearly basis. What made a lot of money for me last year might not be what is going to make me a lot of money this year. And that's going to take me into um, what I have to say to you guys in this video. So I'm going to start from my most favorite pairs at the moment, okay? The ones that are popping right now and are making me so much money. And the very first one is actually gold. It's crazy because Two years ago, gold was a no-go area, and I'm going to explain to you why. Gold was an absolutely no-go area. Why? Because gold was in a nasty range. Gold was in a range for about three, four years. Three years, we couldn't touch gold. Anybody who went near gold was like, you're finished. But the truth is, right now, gold is dashing out pips like never before. Once again, guys, don't worry, I'll tell you the strategy to use to trade gold. Relax. Gold is popping right now. You want to know why? Because gold has finally broken out of its consolidation period. And there's a philosophy in Forex, not just Forex, but the financial market at large, that states that after every massive consolidation, there will be a resultant breakout. So what this simply means is this. If the market, for example, gold was ranging for about three years and the tune of the range was about 
4,000 pips. Let's say 4,000. I think it was about 3,000, 4,000 pips. When the market eventually breaks out of this range, the market is going to rally for another three, 4,000 pips. And just think about it as your Pepsi bottle. Like when you shake it, shh, shh, shake it, shh, shake it like it, shh. When you shake your Pepsi bottle and you eventually open it, or like a champagne bottle, like you know in the part in those celebrations when you shake the champagne, but when you eventually pop it, what happens? The cup just blows out. That's exactly what gold is doing right now. It's been shaking for so long inside and it's eventually blown out. So your responsibility as a trader at this very instant is to be like, okay, gold has now finally broken out. It is now my responsibility to catch this breakout. So the question is, how do I catch this breakout? Now, guys, allow me to introduce you to one of the most realistic forex trading strategies out there, which is called the top-down analysis. So all you need to do is use the top-down analysis analysis, identify the breakout regions, look at the trend, wait for pullbacks, and you're pretty much good to go. I don't really have enough time in this video to explain the top-down analysis. However, you can get it on the Forex Mastery program, which is in the link somewhere around here or in the description. Guys, it is so easy to use because with the top-down analysis, all you need to do is go on the monthly time, plot your key levels, come on the weekly time frame, look out for candle closes, come on the daily time frame, look out for the most immediate trend and execute on the four hour. It will literally take you step by step by step. And I think module six on the Forex Mastery program, I literally speak about entries and exits. So you want to use the top-down analysis when you're trading something like gold. Why? Because it also shows you fake outs. With the top-down analysis, you can tell, okay, it's not ripe now, but pull back. And I think module five, I also talk about on the, on the Forex Mastery Program, I also talk about how to use Fibonacci pullbacks. Most people don't even know how to use Fibonacci. They think uh, maybe using the 23% extension works or the 32.8, they don't understand what they call the Willis zone. So ideally, the top-down analysis and the Forex Mastery Program will teach you that after the breakout, you want to allow the market pull back into what they call an area of confluence. And then you want to what, buy after the bounce. I think I'm revealing too much information information here about uh, the top-down analysis, the Forex Mastery, so I'm not going to be happy with me. Guys, once again, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, click the link around here and get it so that you can partake in this gold frenzy that is happening right now. Around here somewhere, get it and go, guys, I mean, you could be literally mining for gold from your bedroom. You don't even have to go anywhere. Gold right now is my favorite Forex pair. Now guys, my second favorite Forex pair at the moment that I feel everybody should be looking at at the moment. Now, guys, this is so crazy because on a normal day, I'll never touch these pairs. But guys, I'm a trader, I'm here to make money. And any pair that is aligning with my values as a trader, don't forget we're looking for the most realistic and easiest. I'm not here to stress my life. I'm not here, like the pairs that were making me money two years ago, they didn't like, I love them very much, but right now they've been stressing my life. So right now I'm looking for the one that's not going to stress my life because Forex is not about who is the most intelligent trader or who has the best analysis. No, Forex is about who's making the most money. Who's making the most money, bread, cheddars. That's what Forex is about, okay? So this pair I'm about to tell you guys now, I never really liked it that much. As a matter of fact, I don't really like it that much, but it's popping right now and the alignment seems very amazing i love it right now why because it's putting a lot of cheddars in my bank account now without any further ado this pair are the jpy pairs now guys you've probably been seeing the jpy pairs trending to the upside for the longest time yes why is this happening because the us dollar is strengthening against the jpy pairs japanese yen is crashing it's crashing. So these are the two pairs under the JPY pair I'll advise you to trade. Actually, three, but I prefer two. So the first one is GBP JPY. I like GBP JPY because I can understand the pullbacks a lot more. And like I said, I use a top-down analysis to trade JPY, uh, to trade most of the time. The pullbacks are a lot easier for me to understand. Same thing with Euro JPY and USD JPY. So you want to look at these three and ask yourself, okay, so out of these three, I need to pick two 
And I need to understand them. You need to go and see, guys, use the Forex Mastery program. I teach what they call major and key levels. Go and plot your key levels. Right now, I think GBP, JPY, between two key levels, we're looking at about 900 or 800 pips. A lot of pips to be bagged on GBP, JPY. I think same with Euro, JPY as well. Top down analysis students, Forex Mastery, so you know what, I know, what, what I'm talking about. I'll turn my video into the chart, drop a chart here if possible. Like that. So with the top-down analysis, you can see that the market has blown out. Once you go on a monthly time frame, look left, plot your key level, that's exactly where the market is heading to next. What you then want to do at this moment with JPY pairs is wait for pullbacks into areas of confluence that you learn on the Forex Mastery program. Allow the market come into you and then jump on the Give me like this. Pose. You prop do you the prop account you go pass on. No issues. Buy the Lamborghini next week. I mean, what are we talking about? That's exactly why we're here. I keep talking about Lamborghinis because Lamborghinis seem to be the car of preference these days for forex traders that have made it big. And as always, I always wish you guys the very best when it comes to uh, trading with forex market. So JPY pairs are absolutely popping at the moment, and I'm so happy because. Guys, I used to trade JPY pairs a lot in 2020, 2014. Yes, I, used to, you know, I was a huge fan of Euro JPY, huge fan of USD JPY, and then something happened. The, the, the market just went into, you know, some nasty range. There wasn't a lot of liquidity. Guys, see how long ago this pair has been in a range for. So any pair that has been in a range cooking, being shook in the champagne bottle for that long, best believe it is upset, he is angry, he wants to, he, he won't move, he wants to move, it's time to go, and now that it's time to go, you need to catch it. And how do you catch it? You use the top-down analysis and the CTL trading entry pattern that I teach on the Forex Mastery program to catch these bad boys. And you guys are wondering, why is he talking about the Forex Mastery? Guys, what else am I going to talk about? That top-down analysis has is one strategy that has helped me year in, year out, remain very consistent. Pair, this pair pop today, not pop tomorrow. It can be used to trade any instrument from gold to oil to commodities. If you haven't gotten the program already, I encourage you to do so. It's so inexpensive. It is just 99 bucks. Click the link around here down below. Back to what I was saying about JPY. So USD JPY to the moon, Euro JPY to the moon, GBP JPY to the moon. Use your key levels to identify the next area of resistance and you're pretty much good to go. I can guarantee you right now just by thinking, I remember GBP JPY is in an 800 pip move. After you're done watching this video, go and use, buy the Forex Mastery program, use the top-down analysis, analyze it right now. Go and trade. <laughs> go and trade. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, my second favorite pairs at the moment are the JPY pairs. Yeah. All right, guys. So number three on my list, which I love very much. Guys, everything I say here, I speak from my heart. I speak from results that I have in front of my screen. I don't come on here and pretend to be the best trader in the world. Although I, I at this point, I think I'm one of the best in the world. But my point is, I like to evaluate my data, my trading performance, and allow that guide my decision-making process. You see, I'm a huge fan of uh, US dollar pairs, and I've been trading US dollar pairs forever, right? The last three years, US dollar pairs have made me love them. Ooh, sorry, guys, one sec. Ha, I'm back. <laughs> my video editor is going to try and cut that part out. Don't cut this part out. My mic failed. It's part of the game. Put this back here. All right, let's carry on, guys. So, US dollar pairs have been making me a lot of money for the past three, four years. Why? I mean, the market was just exactly, it was trending, it was doing everything I needed to do. It was aligning with my strategy. But last year came and the dollar index just went into a nasty range, um, which I'm going to explain to you guys towards the end of this video, why that happened and what's going on with that. Long story short, I looked at my performance and it wasn't exactly what I had performed two years ago. You have to understand that I'm a fund manager. Right now, we're managing well over 200 and 83 million US dollars, the fund is up, probably be hitting about 300 million dollars anytime soon. So the performance wasn't exactly the way it was that I was used to having it. And this pair I'm about to share with you guys saved 
my trading year. It saved my, like, it was because I was worried. I'm like, oh, you know when your investors are used to you performing amazingly and fantastically, and then you just bring a performance that is just, they will not be upset with you, but deep down they'll be like, that boy, are you losing your touch? And then luckily for me, this pair just started trending and I did the analysis with my top-down analysis. Um, obviously, I just did from monthly, weekly, this monthly, weekly, daily. I thought the market was about to shoot all the way to the upside, drew my trend lines, Fibonacci support. It came into my Willis zone, confluence zone, and I jumped on a buy. Ladies and gentlemen, that trade has gone on to bank at least 1,500 pips. Yes. And without any further ado, this pair is called the S&P 500. Yes, most people are like, ah, I don't really like to trade the S&P 500. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> the S&P 500 is literally one of the easiest things to trade. You want to know why? Because the S&P 500 is always trending upwards. Now, this is a very fundamental message that I forgot to tell you guys at the, at the beginning of this video. The trend is your friend. The trend is your friend. You want to use the trend to your advantage. Don't listen to what anybody has to say. Forget about all those Elliott wave, count A, B, C, D, down, one, two, three, four. You are fully yourselves. The trend is a lot easier and simple for you to trade. And the S&P 500, ladies and gentlemen, is one pair that is constantly always trending. If it's not trending, it is retracing. So all you really need to do is wait for the retracement and you're pretty much good. Guys, the S&P 5, I predicted where it is right now, all-time highs. If you're doubting me, you can check my previous videos. I'll tell my videographer to slap on the charts right about here. You'll see. Guys, and once again, why I keep preaching the Forex Mastery Program and the top-down analysis is in five minutes. I did that analysis in five minutes. I looked at it and I said, ah, oh, thank God, a pullback is coming in. It pulled into my area of confluence. I grabbed it, jumped in for the buy, and it went up. And that was exactly how last year I was able to have a stellar performance. Amazing. Like, what a relief. What an absolute relief because I was just like, oh my god, the AUD USD, Euro USD, GBP USD. All my favorite pairs were absolutely disappointed, but the SP 500 came through for me. Ah, SP 500, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. And now, guys, last on my list, you know, obviously we have to get to the last on the list, but there's nothing wrong with these ones. I'm not trying to bash them or anything. Okay, I'm bashing them because I'm pissed off. The last on my list is AUDUSD. Guys, it's so funny because AUDUSD was the top of my list before. The top of my list, the Euro USD and GBP USD. Now, I'm not saying I'm actually currently short GBP USD right now, it's making me a lot of money. But my point is, I'm not saying that they are bad pairs. The challenge with US dollar pairs right now is the fact, and I want you guys to listen to this very clearly. The challenge with US dollar pairs right now is the fact that, hey, the dollar index just isn't trending. And most people don't know that the dollar index is the Euro USD upside down, and the Euro USD is the dollar index up like this. So if you turn your Euro USD up and down, upside down, you see the dollar index, and if you do vice versa for DXY, you will see the Euro dollar. And that's just the truth. Any, I noticed that any time the dollar index isn't trending, it is always a problem for all US dollar based pairs. Always a challenge. They always struggle. And right now, they're absolutely struggling. And the truth is, I don't like to stress my brain when it comes to trading. Like I say, I don't pride myself in being the most sophisticated. No, 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 no. I'm here to make money. I took a fund from $150 million, now we're almost at $283 million. You think I did that by stressing myself with this? Because AUD USD, I'll give you an example. Just when we thought it was about to drop, come on, just when we come on, all of that is not necessary. I know most traders like picking bottoms, picking tops. It's not sustainable. That's why on Monday you're profitable, Friday you're negative. Next week you're profitable. You're, at the end of the day, you check your bad PL at the end of the month. <laughs> you're probably in negative. That's if you've not already blown the account. And for those of you guys who want to trade proper accounts, who want to change your life with Forex, that is not exactly the approach you should be taking. So right now, yes, I will be looking at the Euro, GBP USD, um, AUD USD from time to time. 
just to cherry pick some trades here and there but the market is ranging that's just the gospel truth and as a newbie trader in this industry i would not advise you to be looking at pairs that are ranging because it's a lot more difficult you know my lips are not dry <laughs> in case girls are watching this mm, let me lick my lips real quick and it's back to us guys so I mean, like, if, if you're a newbie in this game, I don't think a, a pair that is ranging is something you should be looking at at the moment. Although, the top-down analysis can still help you trade, and I mean, I use the top-down analysis um, to trade the GBPUSD short and currently making a lot of money from it. But I would advise you, if you can, stick to JPY pairs, gold, and the S&P 500 as we speak. And not to worry, guys, I will also be looking for other pairs that I feel like you guys can trade at the moment. But I mean, we're halfway um, through all of this and just keep you know focus on JPY pairs guys at the end of it and this is what I always advise look for two pairs and stick to them understand them master them I mean this is going to be happening for another two years right stick to them and master them don't worry guys if the US dollar pair start trending again, I will be the first to come in front of you guys and tell you guys what is popping. But for now, they're just a bit funny. On my Trader Talk videos, I will still be speaking about them, but it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you guys for staying to the very end of this video. My name is Dapo Willis once again. I also want to use this opportunity to encourage you guys to go ahead and grab the Forex Mastery Program so that everything that I've spoken about, first of all, you can take advantage of the pairs that are popping up the moment and secondly you can also be able to identify the pairs that are not popping at the moment so that you can stay away from them and last but not the least you can refine your entries most of you guys have prop accounts you want to pass them you're tired of losing them the best way to go about it is the forex mastery program which the link is going to be around here in the description as always i love you guys very much i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos ensure to drop a comment down below if you found this video helpful and if you have any other topics that you would like me to shed light on drop me a comment down below and i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos the next video i'm going to be releasing after this which you guys need to literally focus on and don't like know what you're doing and listen to what I have to say in the next video is the best time frames. We've spoken about the best pairs that are popping right now. Now you're probably confused what is the best time frames for your trading journey, right? I'm going to be speaking about that in the next video. So once you know the best pairs, best time frames, and then I'll be doing a separate video breaking, I'm going in depth into strategies as well. You have all these three videos in your arsenal. You're pretty much good to go. I love you guys very much. Once again, guys, my name is Dapper Willis. Take a look at my Patek Philippe before I say bye, 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 and peace out. Take it easy. Bye, guys.